Introducing GA600 2021 Fire Resistance and Sound Control Design Manual and all that it has to offer. Featuring more than 700 gypsum panel systems, GA600 2021 is a convenient and useful specification aid for anyone concerned with the design, construction, or inspection of gypsum panel fire resistive and sound control design systems. Revised on a three-year basis, in alignment with building codes, this 432-page manual is referenced by the International Building Code and the National Fire Codes as published by NFPA. GA600 is also referenced by the codes of major jurisdictions in the United States and Canada. For more than 50 years, GA600 has been known as the best organized and easiest to use of the fire design reference books. GA600 2021 may be purchased as a hard copy book or PDF download at gypsum.org. During this presentation, we will use both. Who uses the fire resistance and sound control design manual? Architects, builders, contractors, code officials, fire professionals, and insurance personnel rely on GA600 to quickly and easily access design information. Users can compare various systems to meet both design and code requirements. Let's review the organization of GA600. Opening to the table of contents, you will find GA600 divided into four sections plus appendices. Following the table of contents, you will find the introduction page. The introduction page is important to review. It will provide you with a broader scope of understanding in regard to terms such as proprietary versus generic when they appear in a system, or how industry-wide quality assurance standards are incorporated and defined in a system. Answers to many of the questions we receive at gypsum.org can be found here on page seven. Section one, use of this manual and general notes begins on page eight. In this section, you will find a general overview of terms and symbols used in system details, a product identification guide, a list of the fire testing agencies and sound testing agencies referenced in GA600, as well as abbreviations used. Page eight reveals how systems are divided into seven major categories and listed in the table of contents under these headings. Wall and partition systems, floor ceiling systems, roof ceiling systems, horizontal membrane systems, column protection systems, beam, girder, and truss protection systems, and strain relief systems. Systems are classified according to their typical uses and their fire resistance ratings. Interpreting a system listing. A typical system listing is included on page 15. Each system has been assigned a reference number, the GA file number. Remember to cite the full GA file number in specifications and on plans or when making inquiries about specific systems. GA file numbers group similarly rated assemblies together to facilitate comparing systems of like ratings. Where the word proprietary appears, in system descriptions, one or more of the system components is considered proprietary. Each proprietary system shall be built using the components specified by the company or companies listed under the detailed description for that system. Fire resistance ratings and STCs are the result of tests conducted on systems composed of specific materials put together in a specific manner. Substitution of other materials or deviation from specified construction could adversely affect performance. GA600 system descriptions are summaries. Review the test report for complete information on the system or components tested. Information regarding generic systems may be requested from the Gypsum Association. Information on proprietary systems is available from the companies associated with those systems. Page 16, Section 2, Requirements for Fire Protection and Notes on Assemblies. This section not only discusses the fire resistive properties of gypsum, but also provides detailed information about Type X gypsum board and the performance of gypsum plaster. Information about fire resistance tests starts on page 17. All fire resistance 
classifications described in GA600 are derived from full-scale fire tests conducted in accordance with requirements of standard setting organizations in the United States and Canada. Most importantly, general explanatory notes, fire performance of systems, begin on page 19. 28 notes provide greater clarity on specific terms and topics. For instance, note four discusses replacement of screws for nails and systems. Screws meeting ASTM C1002 standard specification for steel self-piercing tapping screws for application of gypsum panel products or metal plaster bases to wood studs or steel studs shall be permitted to be substituted for the prescribed nails, one for one, when the length and the head diameter of the screws equal or exceed those of the nails specified in the test system. And the screw spacing does not exceed the spacing specified for the nails in the tested system. Another example, note 19, discusses how truss size and depth may be altered compared to the design. Specified floor ceiling and roof ceiling framing sizes or truss dimensions are minimums. Reviewing general explanatory notes may lead to saving time and revealing simple solutions for your project. Section two also provides additional information on area separation firewalls, floor ceiling, roof ceiling, and horizontal membrane systems, protection systems for steel beams, girders, and trusses, protection systems for steel columns, protection of wood columns and beams, fire blocking and fire stopping, smoke barriers, perimeter relief and control joints, and surface burning characteristics. Section three, sound control. Terminology related to acoustics are defined on page 29 along with a brief overview of sound. New to GA600 2021 are outdoor indoor transmission class ratings for certain generic systems. Considered essential by the window and door industry, OITC ratings are based on laboratory testing that measures the sound transmission loss of a constructed assembly. OITC tests focus on lower frequency noise, such as construction noises, car horns, stereos, and the sound of airplanes. Exactly the kinds of noise that studies show have a negative effect on health by raising blood pressure and preventing sleep, among other impacts. Page 30 also has information on sound flanking and leakage, followed by figure 10, impact of ceiling, on reducing flanking noise. 13 general explanatory notes for acoustical performance systems can be reviewed on page 33. Take as example note eight on the effect of the addition of gypsum panel layers on acoustics. Adding additional layers of gypsum panels may improve the sound performance of a system. However, more than four layers per side may not result in significant improvement. Another example, Note 13 on the use of resilient channels. The use of resilient channels in systems may improve the sound isolation performance of the system so long as they are installed properly as specified in manufacturer's instructions. Sound isolation performance may not improve if resilient channels are sandwiched between panel layers. Figure 12 shows three typical configurations for resilient channels. Section four, fire resistive and sound control systems. As seen in the table of contents and throughout GA600, non-combustible systems for walls and partitions, floor ceilings and roof ceilings are listed first, followed by those that rely on wood framing. Systems are further subdivided by fire resistance rating. Walls, partitions and floor ceiling systems are also classified by sound transmission class, abbreviated as STC. The impact isolation class is included for many floor ceiling systems. STCs are listed in descending order in ranges from 70 to 74 to 40 to 44 STCs. Some systems such as WP1370 and WP1380 are marked sound test information out of date 
and provided for historical information only. This information is provided for historic and retrofit projects. This information can be easily referenced and navigated in GA600 by reviewing the following tables. Indexed to systems by STC rating, new systems, deleted systems, and systems with reassigned numbers. Hello, I'm Greg Woolley, Technical and Market Advisor at the Gypsum Association. I hope you have found this video tutorial you've just viewed informative and useful. The Gypsum Association and our member companies are dedicated to delivering accurate and up-to-date information for the design and construction community. Visit our bookstore. Learn about our more than 30 publications. Have a question? Don't hesitate to reach out to us at info at gypsum.org. Thank you.